Hey everyone, this is Tushar and in today's video, we are going to look how to create a REST API with zero coding using a package known as JSON server. So, we will create a REST API without any backend coding which means we can edit a data, we can add a new data, we can get the list of data and we can delete the data. So, so if you don't believe me you can go to this url over here i have written an article on it and i'll share the link in the description so this is basically created for front-end developers who need a quick backend for prototyping and marketing so while you are developing the front-end part of your app suppose you are using any react angular js Vue.js, or anything you can use this fake rest api to just mock up your data and to see how everything is going so let's start. So the number one thing is you have to install this JSON server package. You can do that using npm or node. As you can see here, this is the command. But you should have npm and node installed in your system. So if you don't have, go to node.js website and install it. So we'll start from here. So what it is saying is run this command npm install hyphen g json server hyphen g means it will get installed globally on your system so that you can use this json server commands anywhere in your system and let's get started npm install hyphen g json server so it will install the json server package in my system and after that we'll create a directory for our project so let's create a directory now the command for creating directory is mkdir you can see here and you can give your project project name anything so i'll give a api products now i'll cd into project folder i'll create a new file uh, these are the steps that you have to follow so to create a new file there is a command called touch so the command like touch and all i am using a mac so if you are on windows you can uh, either directly go to uh, your uh, that folder and create the file or you have to look out for that Anyways, uh, that is not the topic of our uh, video. So let's create a file products.json. I created it. Now I'll open this project in Sublime. So if you will see here, I got a file name as products.json. So I have to create some JSON data which my API will contain. So I'll write products. So, and in JSON, you have to remember that key and value should be in string it is similar to objects but key and value should be in string unless and until it is not a number or a boolean i have written it over here this one is similar to object but in this one key and value should be in string unless it is number or boolean so let's uh, so our products uh, will be array of object because it will be a list of products so the first product can be type array let the deep work it is a good book sorry i don't know about the author The price is about 20 dollars so this is our first uh, product we can create any more like this suppose I want iPhone 7 and the price is 900 dollars let's create one more and 
sedan. Sen vi gör hon då ska vi ta igen där också. Så so this is uh, our array of objects. So we have three products in that. If you see here, uh, I have created a, a JSON for to do because I was planning to create a to do app using this. Anyways, so the next step will be go to your terminal and run this command. Before that, you can check anything related to JSON server. You just type JSON hyphen server and hyphen hyphen help. It will give you a list of all commands. So now what we'll do is I uh, will start watching that file and because we want that complete data on a URL so that we can use it, we can uh, do a get request to get all data using that URL and similarly the other HTTP methods to perform some operations. So let's uh, write JSON hyphen server. Then you have to write hyphen hyphen watch because you want to watch the changes in that file and then the file name which is products. JSON. So as you will see now it is saying that loading products.json which is done and you will get the data on this URL. The home is this. So I'll just copy this URL so that I can show you the data that we have written is here also. So if you see this, we got the same data that we wrote over here the array of objects so that is pretty cool right so now if you want to start using it you can uh, use it you can get the list of the uh, pro products you have you can add new product in this you can delete a particular uh, product and you can update a particular product but the problem one more problem is so when you are creating it manually for the first time you have to give a particular id to it like one i gave to this one this one two this one three so now it will get updated automatically if once i reload you see i got the id also so let's check our API with a with an awesome tool known as Postman, which you can use to test your REST API. So I have Postman installed. So let's do that. It's a great tool. I have just started using uh, one or two days back. I don't know the full functionality of this, but for now I can check my REST API. I'll copy the same URL. So just copy the URL over here the method should be get because you want to get the list of products and then click on send you will get the same data over here which you are getting in the browser so now if I want to delete a particular record but before deleting I will add a record then I will delete it so to add a record just open a new tag, lab tag from here copy the same URL so you want to add a new record to the list of products so i have to choose post request and so i want to add a new record so i have to add that object i have to send that object with my uh, request with my post request so click on the body tab over here select the raw option and you don't want text you want the json format select the json format now what you can do is copy one object from here because what you are going to do is you are going to add an object in this list of objects. So let's ID don't have to give it will assign it automatically. You have to assign for your for the first time when you are creating your JSON uh, like I have created products.json. So here the title will be. Let's say Superbike. And let's say it is 
$50,000 or maybe $20,000 so I have so this uh, data will go so this data will go along with my request as it is a post request so what I did is I paste the same URL then I select the body option select the raw option select JSON from the drop down and added a object which I want to add I'll click on send so you can see that it is saying that status 201 created so how do I know that see it, it has first of all it assigned the ID for it but how do I know that it got added to my list of objects go to your previous tab where you are doing a get request do a get request again and magic happens it got added to your list of products this is cool this is working right the so same thing you can do with jquery react but uh, i'm doing here just for testing it so i have added a new uh, product with an id4 what i'll do now is i'll delete sorry i'll delete that product with an id4 so to just delete a product you should have an id so that you can you know which product uh, to be deleted so in this time i have to select delete from the option from an option from the uh, drop down and uh, yeah just click on send we'll get an empty object and you'll get status code 200 which means it got deleted so to check it we can again go to the get part the first tab which has a get where we are doing a get request and now we can click on send again and you will see that the data got deleted so the way in which we created a uh, tested a get request a delete request and a post request similarly you can uh, do a update request just to check it but the main concern over here for us was uh, to get a REST API up and running so that we can, that we can use it uh, for our front-end project or to just give us some give some mock-up data to our front-end project, uh, project without any hard coding so this is a cool package you should you should really check it out I'll include this uh, article in the description and I guess that is it for this video video i hope you like this video if you like this video just subscribe to my channel for more awesome video like this and please comment and like this video thanks for watching i will see you in the next one